Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to remake old review of a BAR or a Browning automatic rifle. The military code, I think the, the, the military series was uh, M1918. Okay. It fired a 3006 or a, the BAR or a Browning automatic rifle fire a 7.62 by 63 millimeters so the the case length is a little bit longer than a nato standard 7.62 by 51 millimeter okay so so this rifle was designed in 1917 by john browning enter service in 1918 until 1973 okay so john browning passed away in 1926 so at age uh, 71 so i think he was like very old yeah <laughs> i'm sorry about that uh, to browning family okay so so i'm sorry uh i've been busy with my farm so now i'm back let's begin my farm in the video game i don't have real farm i'm just little garden in real life but I have like a 10 hectare farm in the video game, so let's let's continue. So this is the reloading. When you reload, push this button, magazine release. Magazine release will uh, push this magazine catch away. Push this forward and this backward over here to allow the magazine catch to disengage the magazine allowing you to pull out the magazine and reload, uh, reload a new magazine, fresh magazine. Okay, simple like that, that's reloading. So now let's begin the firing mechanism. I'm gonna remove the operating handle. Okay. Okay. Okay, why is this? Okay. So let's fire it. Okay. So when you fire, you pull the trigger, the trigger will go up, the trigger connector will push the sear over here, allowing the sear over here, part over here, to, to disengage from the slide. So this sear is holding this slide from this cutout over here, down here. So when you pull the trigger, it will release the slide forward, okay, the slide will carry this, uh, carry this hammer, bolt link the bolt lock and this bolt and everything here okay it will carry it forward so when it go forward the bolt will push the the round into the chamber and then when it's in position like that you see this uh this bolt lock will go go up because it was being pushed up by this bolt link here so the slide will go forward over here so as you can see this slide here was being held over here. Okay, so it was being held by the tension of the recoil spring. So, uh, oh yeah, because it the uh, compared to normal rifle, this is a uh, open bolt, so not closed bolt. It's open bolt. So the recoil spring was compressed when it's uh, in ready to fire mode like a uh, bolt open of course it's going to be compressed okay because there is no like a normal hammer like in m16 ak kind of type so it is in this the energy from releasing the energy in the in the recoil spring that connected to the slide so when you release the sear the slide will be uh, will be uh, pull, not pull, uh, 
like troll by the recall forward okay allowing it to because as you can see when we fire you see the recall spring expands so when it's the bolt is open like this it was compressed so there's energy from there so that's why when you pull the trigger the sear will release the slide the slide go forward with the hammer bolt link bolt lock bolt and everything putting the round into the chamber and then it will bend bent up like being pushed up into the locking position like that so when it's locked you see the hammer here gonna gonna hit that so the hammer here going to hit that uh, firing pin so the firing pin is not straight but uh, a little bit in the angle in an angle like that i'm sorry so the so the hammer hitting the firing pin when uh, it's locked in position it's locked on top uh, into the lock into the top of the of the receiver at the frame and then the hammer hitting the firing pin like that you see this is the hammer connected to the slide using energy from the recoil spring hitting the firing pin and then when the round is fired so i think there's no gas expansion like animation here so the gas enter this uh, barrel and then into this uh, gas cylinder too so and the round leaf the round leaf the gas is uh, fented into this uh, gas piston the gas piston will be pushed backward so i'm clicking that will be pushed backward the gas pushing this piston okay the piston is connected to the slide so the slide go back pulling the pulling the hammer bolting and the bolt bolt lock and the bolt backward also so when the gas push it back the gas piston and the slide go back which is the slide connected to the hammer, the bolt link, the bolt lock, and the bolt will, will, was being pulled back like that. So it, it first was being pulled back to unlock and then to release the, to eject the round, to remove the round from, from the chamber, and then ejection happened. So, so ejection, as you can see. This is the ejector over here. So like that. That's the ejector. Okay. Do you see it? Okay, nice. So right there. The run was ejected out. Now what's special about running out of automatic rifle? I think is uh, the the firing mechanism so there is no semi or full automatic it is how long you hold the, the trigger similar to uh style out okay so the austrian design style out it's like how uh, maybe no 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 i was wrong about that style out like it's how deep you pull the trigger okay well this one is like a how long you pull the trigger because of this buffer tube here like the the buffer mechanism here that so when recall happen bullet extraction uh, extraction happen and then you see this slide is hitting this uh, uh, sear, sear release and the buffer head and everything hitting it you see right there that's that's the that's the uh, how you call it uh, the semi-automatic uh, the full auto the full auto mechanism so so, so this the, the the 
change flavor here. Only have safety and firing mode, but like the the single and full auto firing was depend on how long you hold this. Okay, because as you can see, when you when the slide hitting this uh, sear release, you see you see the timing here because of this. See because of this uh, this one. The sear, sear release actuator was actually being pushed into the barrel and then it go forward. So, uh, so when the, let's see, one more time, the round is firing, the round is ejected. You see the slide hitting the sear release, the sear release will will kick this uh, sear release actuator down so if you release the trigger now it will gonna be a, a, a single fire but if you keep holding it then you see the timing here the sear release actuator will uh, kick the sear release forward as you can see over here and then this sear release will push down the sear which is like that okay this is a little bit of animation there okay then if it's kick like this to kick this sear and then and then uh, if if you keep holding the trigger then the sear release stop lever will not engage then the sear release will keep will be kicked forward like this okay to push the sear down and then you you will have full automatic okay i'm gonna show you now so okay i'm gonna hold the fire firing uh, a button on the keyboard okay so i'm gonna keep firing you see you see that so you if you keep uh, holding the trigger the sear release stop lever will not engage so it's gonna be full automatic just like that so that's so that's uh, the, like the counter yeah, like the full automatic full automatic mechanism full automatic firing mechanism on browning and tobacco which is using this uh, this sear release actuator which is will be kicked down and then it will, it will go back and hitting the sear release and the sear release will kick the sear which mean it's gonna be firing the next round as long until as long as you as you keep holding the trigger and will uh, did not allow the sear release stop lever to engage the sear release. So I'm gonna release the trigger now. Okay. It it it's a little bit wrong with the animation, but if you release the trigger, it's, it, this one uh, this re uh, sear release stop lever will go up preventing the sear release to kick the sear down which is the firing mechanism will stop okay so that's a little bit wrong with animation so as you can see so basically that's that's the mechanism like a single fire and a full automatic so basically how long you pull the, pull the trigger okay so so yeah and now let's see the safety So the safety basically preventing the trigger from moving. We already spending 14 minutes to explain that. I hope you understand. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go it go through it one more time uh, at 10x speed. So this is single fire. So the animation is a little bit wrong here because the zero really, really stop lever. When you release the trigger, it should prevent that from happening like this this uh, zero list stop level so that okay so the, this is single fire single fire right okay you release the trigger 
the serialist stop lever should stop the serialist from moving, from engaging the serial. Okay. Now in full auto, we keep holding the trigger down. So serialist stop lever will not engage the serialist. The system will fire in full auto, just like that. So, so I think I hope. Uh, I I think you will understand. If you do not understand, watch again, okay? Because that's how I explain thing. So, so yeah. If you did not understand like my explanation, you can check out uh, uh, in range TV. Uh, uh, Ian McCollins, Gun Jesus. He can explain more clearly. Clearly, compared to me, because he have the real one. While I'm having the video game version, which is a, a little bit faulty here, but you know, hey, we can work with what we have, right? So this is the safety. So safety basically prevent the trigger from moving, just like that. Safety on, cannot pull the trigger. Safety off. So, so that's the explanation, how simple it is. The full auto mechanism. I think, uh, I think there is, okay, no, I'm not gonna talk about that because, no, no, no. For YouTube reason, I will not explain that. So if, so if you can hear my keyboard, that's single fire. That's uh, full auto. So just how long you press the trigger. This this mechanism is very, very, uh, how you call it? Uh, very genius for the, for the time, okay? Like because at that time, we, like M14, not M14, M1 Grand, okay? Like M1 Grand, compared to this. I think this is better than M1 Grand, okay? Because it fired 20 rounds. And then uh, it has select fire, okay? So that's my opinion. If you think I'm wrong about M1 Grand not being better, and I'm sorry. So that's it, I guess, because there's Nothing else to explain because there's no selection of a single and full out of so safety already explained, uh, reloading already explained. So now uh, let's see the bike. Okay, now this one. So this is like a Squad automatic weapon. Okay. This is like a saw before it was before the saw exits. Okay. Rear side adjusted. I'm not gonna rotate now. Rear side adjusted. Okay. How much is that? Okay, it's using yards. I don't know how to calculate yards. So this is 14 yards, 15 yards. Okay, 13 uh, from 2 to uh, 15 yards. Okay. Rear side. Now it's being lifted like this. So yeah, I guess that's it. We already spent 19 minutes. Okay. Okay, so this is a BAR, running automatic rifle, rifle or a M1918. It fire uh, 30 out 6. Big round compared to NATO 762. And uh, also, okay, I almost forgot about this, but 
like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe if you have not. If you do are watching this, thank you very much. Welcome back. You are welcoming. Uh, you are uh, returning, returning a viewer. So I very appreciate you being here. And if you new, welcome to the to the channel. Uh, like and comment if you have question and subs. Remember to subscribe because. I know I'm playing too much farming simulator, but my farm is important. <laughs> so, uh, walk content like uh, the weapon review, rifle review, or gun review will 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 continue because I my uh, my video was not demonetized anymore and. Uh, my video fall in the under a gun review, uh, so it's fine. It can be monetized, but I'm I'm gonna keep my mouth shut about uh, other things that can make the dollar sign yellow. So like and subscribe. And if you interested, if you have more money than what you know how to do with it, please become a patron of the channel. If you're interested, so I guess that's it. And why my voice getting lower? Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.